Have you always been this comfortable in front of a camera or did you have to overcome camera shyness? And if so, how did you do that? Um, yeah, I would say I'm still pretty shy in front of a camera, but something that definitely helped me was going live. So um, especially when we were first building this business, we go live a lot um, to sell fruits um, and we would usually set up two iPhones. So one would have Instagram live and the other would have Facebook live because Facebook live, you can save the video for later. And then Instagram live, it just saves it for 24 hours, but that way you're hitting both platforms. And so when you go live, you are kind of just forced to speak and you can't really, if you make a mistake, it's there and you know, you don't really have time to like go back and edit. You can't really edit a live video. So um, that really just helped me like fake it till I made it and just had to say something because there was people <laughs> watching. You blast through it and just go live. And if you make a mistake, then you make a mistake. It's kind of like this interview. Uh, I normally don't flow this well if I'm just filming myself, but because I'm live, I know I'm not going to be editing this interview. Same with you, you know, we're just flowing. Um, if we make a mistake, make a mistake, and we just upload it as is, and we show ourselves for who we are. So I love that. Now, I remember going to Miami and visiting your farm and going live. We had the two phones set up, and we had three phones set up, and it was super fun going live. It's like an event, and people are watching. It's, it's really, really cool, and I think it's a great way of gaining exposure and building relationships with your viewers.